Hi, it's Justin. I run the This Justin uh, YouTube channel, and today I wanted to continue my little effort in bringing a little bit of Broadway to YouTube and sharing my experience with Broadway. And I uh, wanted to do something a little fun today and uh, show off my Playbill collection. Now, I have <laughs> seven binders full of Playbills. <laughs> I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each, but maybe uh, I'll sh I'll show you the I'll show you the uh, cover. I might tell you the date and where I saw the performance, and maybe if there's something special about that performance, I'll uh, I'll tell a quick little story. But that that's going to be it. All right. So the very first show I ever saw, which. I don't, some people might not consider it Broadway, but they handed out a playbill, so I'm gonna I'm gonna consider it Broadway. But Blue Man Group, and I saw that I don't have the ticket, but this was the very first show I saw. I think it was in like sixth or seventh grade, and that was at the Charles Playhouse in Boston. And after that, on January eighth of two thousand twelve, I saw Shrek the Musical at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Sometimes. Their uh, playbills don't always have the cover of the show, but there's Shrek there. After that, on November 24th, 2012, I saw How the Grinch Stole Christmas at the Wang Theater in Boston. And The Addams Family later in the summer of 2013 at the Hanover Theater in Worcester, Massachusetts. Wicked at the Boston Opera House. I stop. I used to hang up my playbills and tape the tickets to them. I don't really do that anymore, so some of them you'll see the tickets, some of them you won't. I Love Lucy, live on stage at the Emerson Colonial Theater before it was restored. Now, this takes me to my very first show on Broadway in New York. Matilda. I saw it with uh, my theater company when I was a Junior, and we saw two shows that weekend. The next show we saw was Pippin, and I actually got a few autographs from the stage door. But I'm not. This is the only autographed playbill I have. I don't. I like to keep them pristine and clean now. And following that, this is actually the first show I ever saw with my girlfriend Danielle, and we saw this at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Is Book of Mormon. After that, we have The Lion King at the Boston Opera House. Brings me all the way back to the following year, uh, uh, 2015. I, again, I went to New York with my school. I was a senior this year, and we saw On the Town. We also saw Kinky Boots. I was supposed to have seen Billy Porter, but we had his understudy that day, and it was very disappointing. But the Lola they had was damn good. Following that is Dirty Dancing, live on stage. I've never seen the movie, so I just bought tickets for my girlfriend because she loves the movie. And that was at uh, the Emerson Colonial Theater. Book of Mormon again, but I saw it. I was on vacation in California and saw it in San Francisco, and ow, that kind of hurt. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun seeing that in San Francisco. Yes, that was. that's the furthest I've gone to see a show, all the way from Boston to San Francisco. Following that, the tour of Kinky Boots at the Boston Opera House. And I saw Book of Mormon again once it came to Boston at the Emerson Colonial Theater. Now we're getting to the points that I don't remember the dates because I stopped putting the tickets on front of the playbill. Elf the Musical at the Wang Theater. Pippin at the Boston Opera House. Now we're coming up to the point where... Uh, my girlfriend and I actually took our first solo trip to New York together. We stayed a whole weekend, so we saw four shows in three days. Uh, the first show we saw was Aladdin. The second show we saw was School of Rock. After School of Rock, Something Rotten, which turned out to be my favorite show. And that was at the St. James Theater. Finding Neverland at the Lone Fontaine Theater. Following that, I have The Wizard of Oz at the Wang Theater. And I have Blue Man Group again at the Charles Playhouse. Matilda at the Boston Opera House. And If Then 
at the Boston Opera House. I really liked Diff Them. That was the first time I really sat close to the stage. I got second row seats because they were kind of cheap for that show. I don't know why. And I was a college student. So uh, be being uh, in the second row was really kind of fun. And Anthony Rapp was on the tour, so I got we got to see him. That was cool. After that was Wicked at the Providence Performing Arts Center and Jersey Boys at the Boston at the yeah at the Boston Opera House. A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder at the Schubert Theater in Boston and Something Rotten at the St. James Theater in New York. We went back to see it because I heard Adam Pascal was playing Shakespeare and I was like oh, I've got to see that and then it turned out that he was touring and I was like oh I could have just <laughs> I didn't have to go all the way to New York to see that. I don't even remember. Elf the Musical at the Schubert Theater in uh, New Haven, Connecticut. They don't put the picture on the front either. Something Rotten on Tour in Boston at the Boston Opera House. I saw it just like a month after I went all the way to New York too. It was, it was still great. Rob McClure, Adam Pascal, Josh Crosetti, they are all wonderful. Lion King at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Come From Away at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater in New York. So I saw that while it was still in previews and I had no idea what to expect from it and was very, very, very surprised by it. In Transit at the Circle in the Square. Hamilton at the Richard Rogers Theater. Waitress at the Brooks Atkinson Theater with Jesse Mueller. Rent at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Again, not pictured. No, it's not the same playbill. This is for Chicago at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Aladdin I saw on my birthday in New York. That was also Mother's Day, and my whole family went, and that was really fun. Motown at the Hanover Theater in Worcester. Mamma Mia at the Boston Opera House. Hedwig and the Angry Inch at the Schubert Theater in Boston. Hello Dolly with Bette Midler at the Sam S. Schubert Theater in New York. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at the Lundfontein Theater. Cats at the Neil Simon Theater. Groundhog Day at the August Wilson Theater. Bandstand at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater. Wicked at the Boston Opera House. Dear Evan Hansen at the Music Box Theater. Finding Neverland at the Boston Opera House. Waitress at the Brooks Atkinson Theater with Betsy Wolf. The last performance of Groundhog Day at the August Wilson Theater. Phantom of the Opera at the Boston Opera House. Les Mis at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Book of Mormon at the Schubert Theater in Connecticut, New, New Haven. School of Rock at the Bushnell Theater in Hartford. Fun Home at the Boston Opera House. A Christmas Story the Musical at the Hanover Theater in Worcester. Elf the Musical at the Wang Theater in Boston. Finding Neverland at the Providence Performing Arts Center. No, I didn't trick you, because now we're Kinky Boots at the Providence Performing Arts Center, just exactly a week later. And they use the same playbill picture again. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, live on stage. The Wizard of Oz, but a totally different tour than the one that I saw before. <clears throat> Love Never Dies at the Boston Opera House. Something Rotten at the Hanover Theater. Waitress at the Boston Opera House. SpongeBob SquarePants the Musical at the Palace Theater. Mean Girls at the August Wilson Theater. Frozen at the Sam's James Theater. Hello Dolly with Bernadette Peters at the Sam S. Schubert Theater. Escape to Margaritaville at the Marquis Theater. Once on this Island at the Circle in the Square. On Your Feet at the Boston Opera House. The Sound of Music at the Wang Theater in Boston. Something Rotten at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street at the Barrow, Th Barrow Street Theater in New York. Pretty Woman, the Musical at the Nederlander Theater. SpongeBob SquarePants, the Musical, again at the Palace Theater. 
Hamilton at the Boston Opera House, Miss Saigon at the Providence Performing Arts Center, Rock of Ages at the Wang Theater, How the Grinch Stole Christmas at the Wang Theater, Elf the Musical at the Hanover Theater, Anastasia at the Providence Performing Arts Center, Finding Neverland at the Hanover Theater, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at the Boston Opera House, Cats at the Providence Performing Arts Center, The Lightning Thief at the Hanover Theater, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at the Providence Performing Arts Center, Spamalot at the Lowell Memorial Auditorium, School of Rock at the Boston Opera House, School of Rock at the Providence Performing Arts Center, Spamilton at the Huntington Theater, The Illusionists at the Emerson Colonial Theater, Come From Away at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater, Beetlejuice at the Winter Garden Theater, Tootsie at the Marquis Theater, The Prom at the L Long Acre Theater, King Kong at the Broadway Theater, Avenue Q at the New World Stages, A Bronx Tale at the newly named Citizens Bank Opera House was the Boston Opera House. Les Mis at the Citizens Bank Opera House, and I saw it again the next week at the Citizens Bank Opera House. Book of Mormon at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Cruel Intentions at the Hanover Theater. Kinky Boots at the Emerson Colonial Theater. Waitress at the Peapack. Hadestown at the Walter Kerr Theater. The Band's Visit at Peapack. Dear Evan Hansen at the Boston uh, Citizens Bank Opera House. The Lightning Thief at the Huntington Theater. Hamilton at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Beetlejuice at the Winter Garden Theater. Be More Chill at the Lyceum Theater. Hamilton at the Richard Rogers Theater. Tootsie at the Marquis Theater. Escape to Margaritaville at the Peapack. Lion King at the Citizens Bank Opera House. SpongeBob the Musical at the Wang Theater. And I saw SpongeBob the Musical again at the Wang Theater. Rent at the Schubert Theater in Boston. The Play That Goes Wrong at the Hanover Theater. Aladdin at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 1 at the Lyric Theater. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 2. There's a slight difference. It, there's stuff in there. Come From Away at the Citizens Bank Opera House. Not pictured because they ran out of playbills. The Office, a musical parody at the Huntington Theater. Come From Away at the Peapack. How the Grinch Stole Christmas at the Peapack. Blue Man Group at the Charles Playhouse. Cats at the Citizens Bank Opera House. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 1 at the Lyric Theater. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Part 2 at the Lyric Theater. Mean Girls at the Citizens Bank Opera House. Little Shop of Horrors at the West Side Theater. Fiddler on the Roof at the Emerson Colonial Theater. Hello Dolly at the Providence Performing Arts Center. Hades Town at the Walter Kerr Theater. And finally, the last playbill I have is Company at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theater. That was the last show I saw before Corona shut everything down. <laughs> and I was in New York with three more tickets for shows. So I've had like six or seven shows either canceled or postponed because of all this. And maybe now I'm just feeling nostalgic and I just want to get my Broadway itch in by talking to people and showing showing people what I really love. And um, I hope you guys found that enjoyable or maybe you found it unbearable, but if you made it to the end of this video, um, put down in the uh, comments what you think I should see next, if you have recommendations or anything, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.